shit. It's far progress, take breaks, but not yet. Don't take it out of context, but wasting all of this. Oh, I never got to finish it. Now it just looks stupid. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Doug, and I apologize because I look like absolute crap. Shutting haters up, feel like Kobe Bryant. Bring on every finger, feel like Kobe Bryant. I'll be selling out of arenas, feel like Kobe Bryant. All time great, I feel like Kobe All right, so here's the deal. I'm running on about two and a half hours of sleep, if I'm lucky. It's been a day, it's been a rough one. And so we're gonna listen to some Skizzy Mars because I know that he can get me out of this funk. I know that he can get me out of this mood I'm in. A lot of you guys recommended the Red Balloon Project, so I guess I'm gonna skip around. I listened to his latest, and then I'm gonna go back and listen to the first one that's on Spotify. We'll do the one in the middle sometime soon. I did decide to do Skizzy solely because I am counting on him to get me out of this mood that I'm in. I know that his music is is upbeat, it's funky, it's, it's fun to listen to, so I'm very excited to listen to it. Before we get right into it, smash that like button, fam. Gently tap subscribe, hit that little bell button so that you get notified whenever I post and you don't miss a beat, you don't miss any videos, you don't miss any content. It's all amazing. You don't want to miss any of it. So I appreciate all you guys' support. We're at about 130 subscribers. We are only 70 away from our goal of 200. And then we can up the ante, we can up the goal. We're all about coming up and bringing others with us. So if you're all about that too, then join us, join the family. Check out the beat making videos, check out the reactions, laugh a little, cry a little. We get in our feelings, we talk about a bunch of stuff. Let's just get right into it, I'm talking too much. This is Skizzy Mars, The Red Balloon Project. Let's get it. Track one, like this. This baseline is groovy. So the baseline is done on a synth and it's really understated. It's way underneath all the rest of the production, which is basically just drums. But it's really groovy. I'm digging it. I like this. It's simple production, but it's it's a dope intro so far. I'm a prince, I'm smoking one of my palaces. Go together like there are a couple keys in there too, very subtle. I like it. Like this. Oh, we're getting some extra like this, like this, like this. Hey! Wow, that is an amazing lead. That is a very, very dope beat drop. I wasn't expecting that. It was just so chill up until now. Also, he's very gifted at making hooks uh, or choruses to his songs. They are very catchy, almost all of them. Like, to this day, I still have, I can't help myself, like, stuck in my head on a loop. Yeah, this beat is awesome. Yeah, I like it. This is a dope song. Yo, that was dope, man. That was that was really sick. Pro okay, production-wise, it was like it was chill, it was simple, it was fantastic. Um, he delivers. Skizzy Mars delivers, as always, in his music. All in all, it's a great track. Let me ask you guys something. Do you guys prefer that I review each track individually uh, right after I listen to it? Or would you rather just have me listen really quickly through all the tracks and then leave like an overall general opinion on the entire project as a whole towards the end? Because I feel like maybe doing that would shorten the videos a little bit, but if you guys are digging the format that we have now where I listen to a song, review it, listen to a song, review it, we can just keep this going. So let me know what you guys think in the comments because I really do these videos for you guys. I love every single person that watches my videos and supports me. And so let me know what you guys want to see. This is track two, The City, featuring Phoebe Ryan. I like the guitar. It's funky already. What? it makes me feel good <laughs> yo this is dope already that hook is amazing i love her voice this production is always so so good puts you in a good mood to listen to it i knew skizzy would come through and he always does yo he's flowing i love this beat man it's like the the fact that when the snare hits, the guitar hits, along with the bass. This is dope. This is a dope breakdown. 
This beat is so dope. Speaking of dope beats. His music is so bouncy. Uh. What? It's over? <laughs> it's got a great storytelling aspect to it. Um, it's not incredible storytelling, but he does manage to get this picture of just a bunch of kids having fun at night. So, you know, it's, it just, again, it makes you feel good. That's a great track. I will definitely be going back to that one. Track three, Be Lazy. <laughs> Wow, that's smooth. Yeah, I knew it was gonna be super smooth, man. Something about Skizzy. I ain't heard a bad Skizzy song yet. This is the second project that I've listened to from him. I think he has three projects on Spotify, and I'm gonna listen to all three of them. But of all the songs I've listened to so far, I have not heard one bad one. In fact, every single one has been outstanding. Like, it's not even just good music. Every single track, to me, my opinion, my taste in music has been amazing. Yo, that's dope. So dope. You, we can watch Netflix so we can just have sex. You know who you are. I love, I love how choppy the chords are. The chords are always there. The chord progressions are always so smooth. They're always so fun. I don't know what it is, what he does with his music. It just makes it so fun to listen to. They're just choppy, you know. You don't get a lot of chords that are being held down. It's just like... Bouncy. This flow's dope too. Yeah. Dude, it's just such subtle things in the beat that just make me so happy. Me too. I'm putting in that work on this channel, bro. We all need those days, man. We all need those days where we wake up and we just look at the ceiling and we go, we're not doing anything today. Like nothing. Like, I might not even get out of bed. We need those days. It's just a fact. If this song were on a loop, I could listen to it all day. If it were like the soundtrack to my life, like just background music, and I just had to hear it always in the background, I would not mind. My mood went from like zero to a hundred because of this project so far. So thank you, Skizzy Mars, for never disappointing me. All right, I feel like I don't gotta say much about that track since we listened to it and I kind of reviewed it throughout the track. I loved it. We're gonna keep going. All right, the next track is Do You There featuring Mark E. Bassey, or Bassey. I'm not sure, but Do You There. So we're getting more of a trap feel already with this beat. The little hi-hat rolls. It's getting to a point where he's setting the bar so high for himself that if it's even just good from him, I'm going to be disappointed because all his music is so amazing to me. Yo! Yeah, yeah. Yo, I have goosebumps. I don't know if you can see that. All right, I'm gonna pause it really quickly. Side chaining the kick to the synths, always a good idea. Um, makes the kick really hit that much harder. Um, the synths are super dope. I like the way they fit into the track uh, during the hook. Um, during the verses, there's a little hey, hey, hey in the background, adds to it, doesn't take away from it, I like it. The hi-hats with the rolls, um, I like that he added triplets. Anybody who watches my beat making videos will know that I love the triplet hi-hat rolls instead of just the regular ones. I feel like they sound more, I feel like they add more character to your song. This song gave me goosebumps and the reason why is uh, I'm not the average music consumer um, and I don't mean that to be like condescending or any anything like that at all. It's just since I was born I've always had this really good ear for tone and for pitch. I don't have perfect pitch but I, I can tell when something is just off key. I, I've always had rhythm. I've always been really really good with music in particular. 
I taught myself to play guitar in two weeks. I taught myself to play the drums in a week. So music is different to me than what it is for the average person. And when music is done exceptionally well, when it's done to a level where I can't find anything wrong with the track, it hits me and I, I get goosebumps every single time. I get those goosebumps every time. Gizzy is getting to this point where I have not liked a single song from him. I have loved every single one. There's a little wood block in there that I'm going to mention because it is doing everything for me. Really simple. But 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 that but just every like every now and then in the beat but I can hear it thank you woodblock you are amazing <laughs> this is so dope next up we have down featuring quest and Devin Baldwin do I even have to say anything this is dope I'm digging the snaps. He's bodying this. I've never heard of Quest before, but he bodied that. Great job. This angel that I have never heard before. Oh, that was epic. <laughs> this is epic. Wow, this girl can sing, man. I'm not gonna lie, I thought Devin uh, was a guy. I was expecting like a verse from a dude, and I got fire from an angel, so way better than expected. I love this track. I love this project. I will listen to it for the rest of my life. So thank you, Skizzy. Devin Baldwin, I am now following you on Spotify. I will be reacting to your music. Um, I cannot wait to hear more from you because that was amazing. I was not expecting that from you and I was very, very pleasantly surprised. So I am excited because Skizzy just introduced me to a new artist. Now we have Time featuring g Easy and Oliver the Kid. I love it. Like, it's... It's dumb. It is ridiculous because it gets to a point where I listen to the first two seconds of the song and I'm like, I already love this. But it, it's just the truth. I don't know what style of music this is, but I think I've found like my style of music. I love every single part of what I just heard, even though I haven't heard barely anything. Hey. I can see what they mean, like when they say that GEZ is a little cringeworthy sometimes, but that was a solid verse. I like that. I like this flow though. Oh, I never got to finish it. Now I just look stupid. <laughs> That's dope with the vocals. Yeah. Yeah, this is dope. Huh. Man, he just keeps them coming. Alright guys, it's the last track unfortunately, but right now we have To the Bottom featuring Charlie Brand. Don't think if you think it wrong. This is the type of song you can sing along. This is the type of song Don't say nothing foul You on speaker phone It's just the homies And I told them that you coming through We the club at one hour You just don't It's spooky. It's like eerie. And it's different. But I'm digging it. I like it. It's a different sound. Yeah, it's definitely like a really creepy thing. But I like it. It, it, it fits. It fits very well with the track. I'm like taken aback by this production and this, this hook. Because it's so different. 
but man is it good. All right guys, that was Skizzy Mars's Red Balloon Project and that's a seven out of seven for me. I loved every single one of those songs. Every single one of those songs has depth. Every single one of those songs is incredibly produced. Skizzy Mars's flow is incredible. Skizzy Mars's delivery is impeccable. His hooks are super catchy. His beats and his, his songs are super fun to listen to. They're great party songs. They're great to dance to. They're great to move to. They're great to vibe to, to drive to. They're great for everything. I don't know exactly what type of music I would classify this as, but I think it's my favorite because I haven't found a bad song yet. Skizzy Mars continues to just grow among my favorite artists since I discovered his music and I'm very happy to be able to listen to his music and to react to it for you guys because again, I know that the reactions where I really enjoy the music I'm listening to are more entertaining so I'm glad that we're all just having a good time here. If you haven't listened to this, definitely check it out. If you have listened to it, give it a re-listen because it is amazing. <laughs> Alright guys, that's the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all for your continued support. Like the video, it helps to spread the video to more people. YouTube gives more promotion to videos with more likes. And we're just trying to grow the channel. So let's try to get a bunch of people watching these videos. Let's try to get a bunch of people reacting to great music with us. And coming up with us, because that's what we're about. Coming up and bringing others with us and all just having a good time. This outro really took a long time. I need to get better at my outros. That's the conclusion. <laughs> Alright, hey, peace.